because we can't tell if they're bad actors. Well, I think you can tell because they sound just like anime characters, which is a, they all represent archetypes <laughs> in anime, and they all fulfill it, and they sound like it. So. Okay. He is on player one side, it looks uh -oh, like. He yeah, is the Brad Wong I told player. you Brad Wong yeah, was coming out today. Going, oh, and, he's and uh, Lord Xavier is bringing out uh -oh. his Satomi. Look now, this I did know, but... Uh, I mean, look how tricky Brad wow. is. Wow. Sly Bass is definitely coming in strong, but uh, it didn't take him, take uh, Xavier long to uh, capitalize on those electrified fences for damage. Oh, uh, will crucify you if you let him. This is a stage where you can get, like, a lot of uh, nasty damage. Oh, yeah. This is just mainly very because cautious. it doesn't matter like how hard the hit is, you always find yourself flying to a wall just like that. Now you just saw it told me to fall for the problem with a lot of brass. And look at that. He he did it too far away, so uh, Xavier knew to punish him right away with the low grab. Uh-oh. Nice. That wow. was excellent. He saw that coming that up. That was it. Ooh, a little showboat. Oh, there we go. See? See? Uh, he dropped the juggle, but uh, like right, I was just saying, you could have uh, done the kick, and he probably still would have followed up the throw. Nice, Connor. Yeah, if we're, his wake-up options are all so fantastic. That shoulder drop right there on back turn is such a dangerous move to use as well. Oh. Uh, Whew, no fear. See, there it is. Insane. Nice damage for just a, uh, a short combo. Look, another ankle bite. Well, Brad Wong definitely does have distance on his side, especially with that uh, low spinning kick. Huh? Force tech. Hey, red that. Bam, right into those cables combo. Oh, nice son. Uh, I don't Ducky think that hit. was uh, Sly Bass's intention, but uh, hey, it, it uh, See, there it is again, shoulder drop. I love that move so much. You see all these whiff holds. Just because the timing on Brad Wong is just so odd. It is. He is such an awkward character to fight. It's not like in past DOA iteration games where he was the unfortunate low-tier character. And his slow speed seems to like work in his favor in so many circumstances. Yeah. One of the uh, benefits of uh, Brad Wong in this game is the fact that you can't uh, you can't low hold him out of everything when he's on the ground. Oh, I wish he could. <laughs> <laughs> that would make him uh, much more manageable to deal with. And Xavier here is uh, fighting real hard, but uh, Bass is. Definitely making it difficult for him. Ooh. So he ties it up. We're Tied up to up. Uh, two rounds apiece now. Starts what? off with the headstand. More that's those that is a very options. interesting tech uh, uh, idea right there. Tony's been backing up. He's got him in the corner, but it's not that hard go. to get out of it with uh, Hitomi. She just seems to have all the crushes that she needs in order to uh, counter some of uh, Brad Wong's uh, momentum. Huh? Oh, wow, that nice was a breed. beautiful uh, Duck right oh. See, just a little bit closer. That she could have been into something. One whiff, one loss. Yeah. We got uh, B-Boy Dragon right there coaching on uh, Sly Bass. That was a very convincing uh, a Brad Wong right there. It was pretty good. Uh, the only other on only other Brad Wong I've seen who's been really top of the food chain is uh, Chosen One, of course. So the music is continuing from the last fight. That's interesting. I've never heard that before. But anyway, we now have a stage right here where there's going to be a lot of spacing. And wide open. Definitely wide open. Should play in Tomi's favor. It definitely should. I mean, because Brad is a character that has to get in, and he has a lot of moves that can uh, easily be whiff punished from, uh, from a long distance. Now hopefully Tomi just doesn't respect him too much and just gets in there with her speed. Well, he's just letting Sly Bass just uh, roll around all over the place. Yeah, he's giving, he put more pressure. There you go. Ah. It's all tied up. Ooh. Excellent juggle right there. Ain't still anybody's game. Yep, only eight seconds to go. Ooh, it's dead. This, oh! Ho, ho, ho. Wow. wow! Nail biting. It told me like neutral hold is such a tricky thing. Her neutral hold just drives me nuts. Just the uh, the gut punches. Just the other day, he did like at least like four of those. Look at these the faces in a row. Yeah. All mind game. Ducking underneath. There we go. He managed to get a juggle out of it this time. One punch. 
Wow, he actually sidestepped it this time. He went for three in a row. Oh. I I'm loving what I'm seeing right here with this uh, this uh, Brad Wong. He's trying to get into Xavier's head as best as possible with all the shenanigans he can think of. Oh, yeah. I mean, everything from starting the round with, you know, like the handstand to just dropping on the ground and, you know, just doing some rising kicks, everything. He's just, uh, it's just working out so well for him. Yeah, you can tell it's only doesn't have as much practice against Brad Wong as I'm sure he'd like. Well, not many people do get much practice against Brad Wong because there's not many players who, uh, who do pick up the guy. I can count him on one hand. And people I see on that. There you go. Xavier has a commanding lead. Maybe he can uh, even the series up. Yeah, there you go. Using Tommy speed, no respect. He did a little charge right there, which is what he was able to uh, counter that so quickly. Put it out there. Make Brad Wong deal with it. This is what would be the mantra he's following now. No fear. Put it out. Now they're against the wall, so that kind of limits their mobility right here. So that will definitely work in Hitomi's favor. Yeah, not giving Here him any room to breathe, any go. room to do his shenanigans, just on him, like white on rice. And uh, both players getting uh, hints from their coaches right here. We got Black Moon helping out Lord Xavier. Lord Moon is, uh, or I'm uh, sorry, Black Moon is actually one of the best like Lee Fang players I've ever went up against. Yeah, that, that Lee Fang would was take his... on point. Oh yeah, it's a shame he didn't make top eight. Oh, if he's not now, he'll, he will be in a tournament soon to come. Eventually, yes. So now he we're starting the off the final uh, match right here. Ooh. Both players are just, you know, working in as best as they can, finding ways to get inside. Excellent wall damage right there. It just All hurts that over a so great much. Throw. Gives you so many options after that. I think Xavier is now looking for uh, opportunities on back turn, which we just saw right there. Brad yeah. Wong, <laughs> just mind games right there, lying on the ground, rolling away, just doing anything you can to just throw off your opponent. It's a That's the purpose of a, of a Brad Wong player. Oh, yeah. You never know what's going to hit him when he's lying down or what's going unless you really look everything up. See, there we go. He got him, instead of doing the throw, he put him closer to the wall, which was an excellent idea, actually. Oh. Uh, that left him wide open. I'm not sure that was a good idea, but. No. Force deck. Wow. See? The exchange of power right there. Oh, oh nice. Fought fake out. Oh, that, that, that was nice. That was clutch right there. <laughs> it looked like Xavier was going to have an epic comeback. He was right there to do it. Ooh. Double explosions, wall damage, ground throw. That is a brilliant uh, mix game right yeah, there. Tricked out by laying down bread. Nice struggle. He gets it back into the corner. He misses the shoulder drop, but he does manage to finish the round out with a throw. So now he has match point going on. I can definitely see uh, Sly Bass is trying to do a much more of a, or make much more of a balanced use of his ground game and his uh, his back turning uh, stance. Oh yeah. Xavier's not making it easy for him though. That was an excellent counter. Yeah. So Xavier Ooh. Hitomi steam train is uh, back in station. No respect, just going for it. Absolutely. Again, that is just that move is unsafe. I'm surprised he was able to uh, uh, recover fast enough in order to clutch out the match, the round. That's clear knowledge of Hitomi, right there. That was brilliant, right there. Cancels out his one move, goes for the throw. Woo. Xavier can close it out right here. Has him stuck in the it's corner. There. Uh oh. There's the wash. He machine. went for the mix-up. Oh oh oh. What oh. a Oh my gosh. Nerves on edge right here. Anybody's game still. Anybody's game. Oh! oh! With a counter. Hats off, sir. That cool. was that was an, an amazing set right that there. That was that's an entertaining fight to watch. So uh, unfortunately Sly Bass is now eliminated from the tournament. Mm. Uh, he he put on a strong uh, showing with that Brad Wong, so he's only been doing it for about a month with that character and only it, it showed only a month and he did a great job. So Maybe by Summer Jam. I would have loved to see his Akira version. I don't know if he's going, to, fin he's going to final round, but I can just say maybe if he's back for Summer Jam. Oh, he'll be back. He'll probably be uh, a force to be reckoned with. So coming up next, um, we got 
Knock Tengu and UGS B Boy Dragon. Mm. Yeah, Tengu that only Yeah, they were up night. earlier. <laughs> they weren't sure what was going on. Knock Tengu. Does he play Neo Tengu? Uh, there is a ch I, he may. That would be amazing. I would love to a, see a Neo Tengu. A Tengu in the top eight would be amazing that's, to see. That's like seeing a Palatina in tops in a Super Smash 4. <laughs> it's just, you don't see it, but man, everybody wants to see it. Oh, yeah. I'm a, I've always been a fan of the Tengu characters in the DOA franchise. I mean, he wasn't that great in Dead or Alive 4. I mean, he was, of course, God tier in DOA 2. <laughs> but, um. And, nice uh, to see him return. She's definitely, and uh, Neo Tengu has a lot more tools <laughs> in this one, so. Very interesting character. It's unfortunate that she's also one of the slower characters in the game. It is. But, <laughs> but hey, forget the fact that she gets a, uh, uh, she has a throw that practically acts as a power launcher. Yeah. So that, she has that going and for she her. She can do a power blow from halfway across the stage.